There he is. I got him. That's another nice fish. Oh, that is a beauty. Look at that. That is the bad mama in action, boys and girls. Holy moly, and he's, he choked on it. Oh, golly. That is a really incredibly nice fish. I need my plat, no I don't, I got it. Holy smokes. I'm throwing, I'm throwing a bad mama. And I chose that bait because there's a lot of green slime on the water and that thing goes right through it without getting all balled up. And when you drop it down through the thick stuff and you lift it up and let it go down, when it swims, it, it like darts this way or darts that way. So it moves underneath the canopy. It's a phenomenal punching bait. Absolutely phenomenal. Man alive, I love this. This is, oh man. There's two things in this fishing world that I love, and that's offshore fishing in the middle of the lake and punching mats. It doesn't get any better than this. Holy smokes, man. Oh my God. Yo, look at that hog. I'm gonna have to show you how I rig that bad mama because I do a little trick to it. Okay, let me show you a quick rigging tip how I like to, to do this when I punch grass. I'll take a rattle and I'll put the rattle on one side of the bait, not in the center. I want it off to the side of the bait. Make sure that it's not kinking the bait so the bait's still normal. What this will do is when you lift and when you lift the bait up and let it sink down, it'll tip it to the side and it'll give it that darting motion left and right when you lift it up and set it down. The next thing I'll do is I'll take my dye pen and I'll dye the ends of the pinchers chartreuse you can use orange, I like chartreuse, I always start with chartreuse, just the tips of it. And then when I rig the bait, I don't get crazy with my hooks. I see a lot of guys uh, putting these gigantic hooks in these little baits, but you don't need to. The only thing you have to be cognizant of is when you rig the bait, you want the gap in the hook, and this is the gap. The gap of the hook is the bend part in the hook. You want the gap of the hook to be twice the width of the plastic of the of the bait you're flipping so and then i rig it and i make sure that the hook is in the center of the bait and straight i want it straight so the bait glides when i lift it up and down it'll glide i got the rattle to one side so it tips a little bit when i lift it up and let it go down it'll glide to the right it'll glide to the left and the tails are pulled apart I like pulling them apart just because when you lift it up, they go together when you lift it up, like kind of like crayfish claws. And that's really it. I mean, it's not, it's not terribly difficult and it's a great setup. The thing I like about the bad mama is when you got all that green slimy junk on the grass, this goes through it without clogging up your lure. So when I see that, I usually go to this.